this is your Rosine from Tech Shenanigans and this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to upload your project to GitHub. First things first, if you don't have a GitHub account, I suggest creating it first. So once you are done creating an account, uh, navigate to this new section and this will take us to creating a new repository. Here we can name our project as, let's name it as new project. Oh and this is not available or let's call it as new project for demonstration yeah, okay, that's available and let's navigate to creating a new repository click this and uh, uh, this will navigate us to this page where github will show us this url this url is specific to the project that you have just created all the files that you will add to this project will be listed under this URL. So if we scroll down over here, we can see a list of commands that GitHub provides us to upload our project to GitHub using the command prompt. But these are a bunch of commands and this can be a complex process. Specifically for beginners, this can be quite complex. So I will walk you through all these commands one by one and we will successfully upload our project to GitHub. So once we are done creating this project, let's navigate to the directory that we have to upload. So this git is the directory that I have to upload. And over here, as you can see, we don't have anything. No files are here. So let me also walk you through the process of creating a project using the command line. So this inside this git is all my files that are going to be inputted in this project. So let's start with a webd project. Mm. Uh, so over here there are certain steps that we have to go through but it is not mandatory to fill them. So package them we can skip it. We can skip the version description. Uh, this is uh, this is a demonstration in three point uh, let's call it as app.js test command we don't have, have to write this uh, this github repository this is if you fill this you can fill it with this you can fill it with this link that the github has provided you but again it is not mandatory so we can skip this keywords uh, also let's name it as yourself uh, license agreement you don't have to write this necessarily so this is what you have we have filled so far we don't have filled any name no version but we filled this description uh, so we have one we filled the main entry point so we have one we filled the author we have one uh, the other things that we haven't filled they are not mandatory so let's acknowledge this yes okay so we are here as you can see now we have a package.json now let's also add some package uh, no package manager install express this may take some time anyways so yeah as you can see over here, we now have a node modules file and this file contains all the functionalities that we just added throughout this command of installing the express package. Let's also add the app.js file that we just added as an entry point in our app. This app.js is the entry point and here you can see that this has been added so now we do have certain files and folders in our project that we have to upload in our github project as of now you can see in the code section we don't have any file but as soon as we push all these files throughout the command line we will have them over here we have done all this work uh, our main work will include using the cmd only so let's start with initializing the github so we have initialized a uh, github repository to this folder. Let's check the status, what we have over here. So as we can see, all the files and packages that we have in this folder are not yet tracked by the github. So let's start with the process of tracking them. 
one one way is to add the files one by one the let's add this app.js for time being so add git add app.js and uh, let's also commit this change it's mandatory to commit the change that we have done so far added added app.js and uh, now we have change in our repository that one file has been added so if we again check the status so over here we don't have this app.js that we had earlier but this process can be a bit slow because we have to add files one by one so for that we can use a specific command that will add all the files and folders so git add space dot so this command will automatically add all the files from our project to the github but do remember that we have to commit those changes that we just did so git commit colon m i think this m stands for a message so all other files uploaded as well Uh, uh, now if we check the status we don't have anything to commit because our working directory is clean so we have added all the files but we don't we haven't pushed the files yet so these last two commands are most important to push the commands git remote add github and after this you have to add the link of the file that the github provided https colon slash slash github yeah dot com slash y750 this is going to be your username and uh, after that is the name of the project that's new project Oh, for demonstration this is quite big name the get so as we have added this to our repository now we need to push the chains git push call nef i don't know what for this f means here and once we are done following all those commands cmd will automatically push all our files to the github so this is 10 hundred percent it will take some time so let's wait for this oh. so yeah now all our files have been uploaded to github.com slash voice and 50 peep so if we refresh this page this should show us the file and yes we have our node module we have app.js we have this package and everything else as you can see over here when we first edit our app.js we initialize it with the comment that we have added app.js while all the other files were committed with this general comment and we have them with the same so that's it for the that's it for today i'll see you in the next if you like the video please hit the subscribe button and share and like